Tomorrow we're going to have uh, we're going to be at Georgia World Congress Center 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. That'll go carry on on Sunday, Monday, and then into Tuesday and Wednesday if necessary, with 125 two-person teams that will, will comprise. The two-person teams are considered called audit boards, and those audit boards will get started tomorrow and. They, they will be comprised of county employees. And after that, uh, they will get to counting. We'll have to do a training in the morning and then we will we'll move forward. Um, there will be vote review panels as well. And we are getting the Georgia World Congress Center set up today. It could go past five each day because you have to, a, a panel, an audit board has to finish its batch before it can leave. So there will be uh, times when an audit board will not be complete at five, but we, what we're, our goal is to do, based on the Secretary of State's calculations, they sent all the counties numbers yesterday. They said that if we did 248 two-person audit teams, the audit would take us eight hours. Um, we're putting together 125 audit teams. And <clears throat> so theoretically it should take two days. Although I think the first morning we'll probably get started a little slowly. And then once people are used to the process, it'll get, it'll ramp up and get going. But so I I'm thinking this is going to go into Monday. We've never okay. done this. Um, I, I would expect it to start slowly. And that's that's all I have. All right. I've asked any members of the media, if you have any questions, please submit those in our Q&A area so that we can uh, take those. And we do have one. Um, how have all Fulton results been uploaded to the SOS site now? Yes. Uh, could you talk about what it's been like for your staff working such long hours last week and now having to do this new process? What's the morale? What is your message to them? And how are you personally feeling? Well, I'm, I'm personally feeling, um, I guess, better now that we've made it through certification. And I'm proud of all the, my staff's efforts and everything we've gone through this year. Um, Unfortunately, I think for the staff now, since we've already we started another election on Monday uh, for Congressional District Five special election, and we have Senate District Thirty Nine coming down on us in the next. Um, we'll start early voting for that in probably a week and a half. We have had we have no time to to rest, and then we've got this hand count uh, beginning tomorrow. So none of us. None of us really have had uh, any time off in the last few months. So, but I'm, I'm, I think a lot of people are really tired essentially. And that's what it is. Um, and we're just, we know we have to push forward through January and we're committed to do that. All right. So, uh, can you talk about what special security measures you are taking to ensure safety of the teams and the process? Well, we will have um, Georgia World Congress Center has has a police force that can provide security, and we have been coordinating with Fulton County uh, as well. But I think Georgia World Congress is going to take the lead in that. So I would I would refer most of what they're what. GWCC's police force is going to will do, but they will be providing the security for the venue. All right. How many uh, total ballots were cast for the November election and being retallied in Fulton? And are you uh, all working around the clock starting tomorrow? We won't be working around the clock. No, five hundred twenty-eight thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven ballots, and. We will be working seven to five each day and to, uh, to get this, this hand audit tally completed <clears throat> for the presidential race. Um, we, we decided to double the number of teams 
and we, we're going to have 128 two-person teams so that we are only going to run one shift per day because I don't want my staff to to have to supervise. I think some counties are doing two shifts, like a 7 to 3, 3 to 11, or 3.30 to 11.30, something along those lines. But what I felt like, since we were going to be in Georgia World Congress Center in a 110,000 square foot room, um, we can... We can have the tables um, at a distance from one another and safely do this with 125 two-person teams. The process means that more time will be spent in close quarters uh, with other people during the pandemic. Does that part of the process concern you with everyone crowding into a room? Um, it does. We're in a really large facility, so um, but there are risks when you have that many people gathering anywhere, and so we're live streaming it with the hopes that you know some people that will that we're going to want to come down and watch in person may just watch watch at home. Um, I know that like when we were at State Farm Arena during absentee by mail processing, that room was was very crowded and you know we we are cognizant at fulton county about the pandemic just because we've had 28 infections this year in our department and so it's always on our mind and if we weren't able to spread out like this at georgia world congress then we wouldn't have that many people in there for clarification fulton is officially saying it's certified now correct yes right. and Last questions. Um, what is the estimate cost of this recount? Uh, where would that money come from? And what is the cost comprised of? Well, I'm not sure what the total cost is. Um, I have not, was not in the contract negotiations to secure Georgia World Congress Center for that. So I haven't seen what the rental cost was, but it was rolled into some other things where we decided to rent Georgia World Congress through the end of January uh, in order for us to be able to prepare for the U.S. Senate uh, run, U.S. Senate runoff, or I guess it would be called the general election runoff, January 5th, as well as the Senate District 39 and Congressional District 5 uh, special elections that are being held on December 1st. So we, we decided to rent out two different spaces there. as well as Georgia World Congress, and we can then get that area ready once the recount is concluded. Uh, we are using county employees, and a lot of these, so a lot of people are either being reassigned or these are people that are on administrative leave and have been re receiving paychecks but may not be either doing their full, uh, full-time job yet or they've been working part-time, but the county is reassigning approximately 300 people to work on this in order to use county employees so we, we aren't adding to the budget. And the county okay. does, so the county is essentially paying for this. Okay. Uh, there are questions as to whether the SOS is ordering Fulton to actually, uh, is actually legal under state election laws. Are you certain this is a legal process and that the audit results will be the official results? Has Fulton's lawyers reviewed this? I think that's a good question for, for the county attorney to answer. Um, I mean, I've seen arguments on that, that it is not legal, but I, I mean, I'm not, not an attorney, so I'm not going to pretend to be one here. However, so I think you should refer that question to uh, the Fulton County attorney. All right. Are you confident in this process? Well, I think it's going to be, I mean, we haven't, I haven't been, uh, part of a, of a recount by hand. And, uh, I mean, I, I remember doing one in the village of Point Venture in Texas. I think it was in 2001, but it was, I think there were less than a hundred votes. I mean, I've seen quite a few uh, hand counts that when I've done overseas election ob observation missions. So, but this one is, um, and this, this one is set up somewhat similar to some of the 
I think it's going to, I mean, the, the, the training that we received yesterday on with the spreadsheet, it's pretty simple, but it just takes a lot of people to get this. Um, it, it takes a lot of people to get this process done. All right, we're gonna to start to wrap this up, but how many teams of two did you mention? Was it 125 or 128? 125. All right, and how many uh, Dem and Republican panel members will be there? Well, the Republicans and Democrats are appointing the monitors and they can have one, one monitor each per, uh, per 10 audit teams. So they have, I, they, they're, will send the list of people and then those monitors um, will be able to walk amongst the tables and they aren't able to record or record anything or videotape anything or photograph anything, but they're, they're there to monitor. I guess if they have questions, they would then take it to um, people on my staff that, that will be primarily overseeing this process. All right. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Barron, for providing a technical overview of this, the recount, which will begin tomorrow. If you have additional questions uh, from the media, please feel free to send me an email. That's regina.waller at fultoncountyga.gov. And I will make sure that your information is forwarded and we'll get you the responses that you need. So thank you. And I, and I would say, too, that it is open. I see a question there. It says, so I explained the monitors, the full code Republicans, full code Democrats appoint the party monitors. Visit observers, they can go down. There's a designated observation area as well as a, an area for the media. And that's so I can conclude with that.